Hello everyone. How's everyone doing? <laughs> it's been a while. Um, I'm in Chicago and I'm visiting my oldest daughter. Uh, she had her baby boy. Um, so I'm a grandma again. So I traveled over here and I wanted to share kind of what I did this time around. Usually I drive. Uh, this time I flew. Sometimes I fly. And uh, when I fly, I really have to downsize what I usually bring. Um, you know, usually, typically I can bring everything in my van. Um, but I really wanted to keep things simple, um, lightweight, because uh, lately I've just been, you know, really craving simplicity. So uh, I wanted to kind of share, you know, what I brought. I have, if I have enough time, I will share a... Um, um, some things that I purchased here, uh, when I arrive here, I typically like to visit the Dollar Tree because sometimes I can find things, you know, in the planner community, things that other people are recommended. I can find it here versus over there where I'm at home. And, uh, but let's get started. So let's, this is my, uh, my, I don't know what you call this, a portable purse. <laughs> so let's start with this. This is the, um, and I'm on, you know, my bed. This is nothing fancy today. Um, my Deldi? No, my Delphonics. Why did I think Deldi? Oh, Deldi is my purse. I've had this for years. This is like my favorite color. I took, typically I have all my pens here on my desk at home. And I took everything out because my, see my pockets have just been like stretched out because I keep them there for so long. And um, I have a little, I think I got this from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I'm, I'm not on a tripod, so I apologize if there's a little bit of shaking. I'm going to try to do this uh, one-handed. Um, okay, this is not working. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's going to work. <laughs> Hold on here. Um, it's late. It's, it's not too late. I don't even know what time it is, but... Uh, they're downstairs and watching TV and relaxing, and I'm in my room. So this uh, is my Dephonics, and this is uh, what I brought. This is my little uh, micro, um, I don't call it a micro, I guess it's a micro size. I really, I think, I don't know, I would have to compare this to my micro at home, uh, which is an actual micro from Chic Sparrow. I made this from uh, a TN that I never used. You know, um, and I made that TN from some leather that I purchased from Michael's, oh, I want to say two years ago. And I think it was an A5 Slim. And it was, um, you know what, I was just, whenever I see things that I really don't use and I'm not drawn to, I just cut them down. So anyway, I also made a pocket um, that's at home. And I made this just because uh, uh, this is really light and this holds my... Let me show you right quick. Remember, simplicity and uh, portability. So um, I carry two uh, micro, let me see. I keep on saying micro. These are two mini composition notebooks. And if you've seen my previous notebook uh, or my video um, some time ago, I love, 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 love composition notebooks. So this is for my devotions and this is for my morning pages. Now, if you've seen my previous video, you know I'm using the standard composition notebook. I cut it down to a standard size, and I am using the Traveler's Company TN, the Camel. Um, that was way too big, so um, this is actually from Walmart. It comes in a three-pack, like for a dollar twelve, and uh, so I just put a little uh, label there for my label maker. And I have previously used this for other things, but I'm using this for devotions. So uh, I found a devotion uh, online on the U version, and I think it's called Breath something with anxiety and something. I forget what it was, but it's about breath prayers. Um, you know, when you breathe in uh, part of a scripture and you say a scripture and then you breathe out, you say you kind of meditate on it. Not really, you can't speak it and breathe it at the same time. Um, what I'm trying to think. Yeah, so that's what it's called. And sorry, I'm fatigued here. I've been trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to get ready for this video here. Okay, so devotions, morning pages. 
Typically, I write my morning pages first, so I should have put it on top. But this is the way it is. And then I added some colorful, and this is from a Traveler's Company, like passport size. I just used it on here. So this is really light. And I wrote down in one of my field notes. I started using field notes, guys. I don't know if I told you, if I shared that with you. I, at first, this is an old um, Chic Sparrow Toffee Pocket. I bought this um, used years ago, probably, I don't know, 2016, 2017. And I really don't use it until now. And um, when I put, I don't know, I think I tried to put pocket notebooks that were too big. And so I just never liked the way they fit. Um, actually, I'm going to take this out. And I actually, I was going to cut this, which I've done in the past from previous um, TNs. Because if I don't use them and they bother me, but um, because I am, uh, you know, memory keeping, I use this to highlight like my date and day. Because I would like to distinguish um, the new day by highlight, you know, highlighting it. Because if not, it just my eyes just takes me um, all over the page. This is the pen that I'm using. It's the 0.5 Pentel Energel. It's a Klena. Um, I think Klena is just the, the body of it. And I've had this. I just refilled it. And when I travel, I always check all the refills to my pens. Usually I bring a Uni Jetstream. Um, I'll show you in a minute. Um, but I brought a refill to this because actually I ran out of ink because I write so much. So this uh, is the field notes. And at first, using the... Uh, you know, mini composition notebook and the pen and gear uh, spiral notebook as my catch-all. If you follow me on Instagram, I made some stories, but you know, and I've used mini composition notebooks for my faith. It was hmm, challenging to use a field notes because I am so used to, and I also use it a composition notebook for my morning pages in my standard. So I don't know. I've just been really drawn to um, composition notebooks lately. And I had a hard time because I wanted to go back to my mini composition notebook. And I'll make a video on, on those. Um, and I use them as a catch-all. Just one notebook and whatever, you know, notes, brain dump, ideas, YouTube information. Um, when I watch YouTube videos, I also write notes because I, I, don't, I really dislike going back, searching a video, because I know I saw some information about something. Um, I, I tend to watch videos um, based on my interest. In my interest, I, see, I seem to hyper-focus on certain things. Right now, they're fossil, fossil, fossil bags. So I've been watching a lot of videos and I've been wanting to write notes based on the notebooks that I, you know, my current catch-all notebooks, I had to flip through and really see how I used to, or what type of notes I kept on a consistent basis. So therefore here I compartmentalized some of that because the field notes is only, um, how many pages is it here? I can't go here. Yeah, I can't go here either. Hold on. <laughs> That's my journaling. Hold on. I think here. Um, it doesn't say here. This is a, this is a field book. It's not a field notes. Um, I think it's like 48 pages, I want to say. If I'm wrong, I will flash it here somewhere on the screen. Um, so I write a lot. So I wanted to really compartmentalize. So here for, especially for my trip. So this is kind of like a travel, you know, setup. So this is my catch-all. Um, just because sometimes I still have things that I need to do. Um, things that I, you know, um, I do bring my work with me. So um, things that I'm helping my daughter with in the house. Just little notes that I need to keep track of. Sometimes she'll say, Mom, remind me for such and such. And so I'll write it in here. And again, this is catch-all. This is anything. And this is just these, you know, Midori. I think they're Midori tabs. Those little brass ones. Um, don't quote me. But anyway, it's just messy, messy, messy planning. Um, that's that. I love this notebook. Isn't that pretty? This I've been wanting. The Chicago uh, Field Notes. And um, 
I finally got it and I saved it so I can use it here. And I've been journaling my like memory keeping in these. And I have some more, but these specifically I will label, you know, Chicago trip. Um, but I think, okay, I don't know if you can, hold on, let me see. I'm going to take it out and then show you. <laughs> so I want to jump forward in the video. Isn't that cute? It's the Chicago flag. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it is 48 pages. Okay, so isn't that cute? Um, and that's one of the things that I love about field notes. I'm a pen to paper gal. When I really um, look through my notebooks and see for the majority of how I write, it's just really pen to paper, messy planning, um, messy notes. And that's kind of how I like to, to write. I've been watching a lot of... of with the field notes, it's a bit, it seems like I've been finding a lot of um, men that have been bullet journaling or writing notes, just, you know, kind of keeping one in their pocket. And that's generally how I, I write, you know, and I keep track of notes. Um, so that has been really, um, those are another video, set of videos that I've been focusing on is watching those type of videos, which has really reinforced um, and encourage me to, you know, that my, my style, um, is okay. Cause sometimes, you know, we come on here and, uh, I always want to be true to myself on how I plan and how I process information and how I document information. Um, this is me and I always want to be, you know, make sure that I'm always true to myself. Um, but basically the first part of this book is kind of a rapid logging my day because I don't have always time, um, you know, helping my daughter with the babies. You know, I have my two year old grandson too. Um, and I try to help when I can. So, you know, throughout the day. So I, um, journal longhand the second part of the book. So in the beginning, it's just like, you know, rapid logging, you know, eight lunch, Chick-fil-A, you know, stuff like that. So it'll be a list of things. So when I have time, usually at night, because at night, usually I'm tired, or the next morning, sometimes it's three days later, I had to catch up on this, and now I'm behind again, but uh, I have a record of what we did, so I can go back here, that's why I have two tabs, this for my rapid logging, and this for my long journaling, longhand, however many pages it takes, I have two books allocated for that. And then this field note, or this is a field book. This is from, I want to say, um, I think it's, is it Ellen? E-L-A-N, I believe. Yeah, E-L-A-N. You can find these on Amazon. This was gifted to me by a, a planner friend. And I love these. I love also, I don't like the dot grid. This dot grid should be a little closer see my writing is kind of spread out and then uh, these are my where I take YouTube notes here so depending on what type of YouTube note I watch I color code the orange is for faith see I write a little closer and to me that's the more the way I write this is too spread out it just doesn't look right to me so I started taking notes here so um so yeah this is kind of um, my catch-all my journaling my memory keeping basically and then I watch a lot of YouTube and I write notes. So um, that is my setup so far. And I am loving, loving the setup. And I'm enjoying the field notes now. <laughs> so if you've been following me for a while, you know if I really, really love a notebook, I'm going to find a reason to use it. So that is why I am using the mini composition notebook for my morning pages and my devotions. Because I wanted a, a way to still use them. But for catch-all, you know, um, journal, you know, memory keeping and YouTube, this just, everything just fits there. And then when I get home, I will switch this up a little bit. The catch-all will still be there. Journaling will still be there. Um, what's missing out of here is um, uh, YouTube will be there. And then a commonplace notebook, which I have not started, but I have here. So my extra notebooks, just real quick here. So I can do this one hand. 
are back here. This is my commonplace field notes. So basically when you open it up, this is one of the reasons I love it because it's already decorated. I don't have to do anything with it. All I can do is write and not worry about decorations. See, isn't that cute? Okay, so that is my commonplace book. And as soon as I get back home, I will take out the um, journaling and then just put one notebook for journaling. And then this one will fit in there for commonplace. This is my current journal or my journal that I just finished. Again, it's just pen to paper. I did not finish it when um, when I got here. I still had some blank pages, so I wanted to finish it. And then I continued in my Chicago because I just didn't want to, you know, not finish this book. I think I had like five pages left. And so I finished it. Can you believe it? I finished a journal book. You know how a journal hop, right? And I never really, you know, finish uh, a journal. So... Anyway, I, this is another reason. Reason number two uh, is I get to, you know, complete books quickly. I love that. This I brought just in case. This is the passport. Um, what is that called? I'm tired right now. I apologize. The sticker paper. Uh, I forget what they call it. Um, but again, this is passport size. But it doesn't matter because this can go in my pocket. Um, and I've carried this in there excuse me here I put it in the back see this little pocket I've slid it back in there so, you know slid the back pocket or the back page I don't know if I could do this with one hand yeah slide it back in there and usually yeah like that I stuck I used the marker and this usually is flat but now it's sticking out again so yeah, so I can, I'm doing this with one hand, so I apologize. It's usually a lot neater and it fits there. I just um, bought some mini uh, stickers and just in case I wanted to use them. And I, you know what? I'm just pen to paper and I'm very happy with that. But these are, isn't that pretty? The little sticker pack from Hobby Lobby. I love those little florals. Um, travel. So, and dinosaurs. This is for my grandson, and I haven't been using them. I haven't, I know. I'm just pen to paper. So I did use one when my grandson was born to document him, his birth. So that is that, and I'm enjoying that. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do my my um, my uh, bag, you know, my travel bag, or the bag that I used to go out, but I'll, I'll do another video. So here I have just post-its because I love post-its. I usually use, um, carry post-its in the back of each of my notebooks. Let's see if I can find back here. Nope, that's prayer. Usually in the back of my catch-all. So I can get it here. I didn't want to show it because I'm not sure what I have back there. So see, I always, always stick post-its always in the very back because but I had some extras there. Remember, this stays home. Um, I always use whiteouts. This is what I use. I don't like the liquid, the glue stick. Oh, so I thought I'd left this at home, but I, apparently I brought it to the dust. Um, these are just the wire. Um, I have AirPods, but these are the wire ones. And so, okay, good. I have to, I bought a, I have a little haul too. And then these are pockets. You have two pockets there. I, this is an extra band from the travelers i just stuck it in there i think i have more stuff in here oh what do i have in here oh these are some other i had lost my AirPods one time i could not find them so i bought these little more inexpensive ones from amazon and they're still charged they're still there so i brought them just in case and that's it so th that goes in here my little pocket everything fits perfectly and it's lightweight because I had to carry that on the airplane in my backpack. One thing, I, I don't check in my luggage. And if I do, um, my journals st always stay with me in my backpack. Because, um, yeah, I can, I can lose my stuff, like my clothes, my shoes. I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't matter. But not this. This, this stays with me. Um, and it's really light. Um, I wrote it down. I will... Polly put it in the description below um, 
of how you know how much this weighs with four books and how much this weighs with two books and it's really a lightweight so and i'll put this back in there in a minute but oopsie i guess i can just slide that there but i love this bag the stealthonics bag it's the medium size and i love this color so um i do have a strap but i left it at home because i don't want to i didn't i again i want to simplify as much as i could but that's all i have um for now i will show you my bag in my next video and then my kind of a little haul just a small one kind of things that i bought again that i found here and not home and i'll talk to you guys soon